Forex Focus brought to you by IG. Taking a look at the Swiss franc today, which has flown under the radar, always flies under the radar, one of the most underrated European currencies and, and majors as well. And, and we're going to take a look at its recent strength because you may have missed uh, how strong the franc has been here in 2023, but also historically speaking, we're going to tie in not only the dollar versus the franc, but the euro versus the franc because we're at some pretty crazy price extremes there. But given everything that we have heard and seen from the dollar this year and all of its strength, um, you know, last year it gets to parity with uh, the euro. Uh, it brings the pound down to 105, uh, 30 year extremes for the yen. The franc is actually up 300 pips on the US dollar, which you might have missed. I know that I was like, kind of like, whoa, that's, that's crazy. I know that dollar was weak in the first you know half of the year you'll remember the euro got back above 110 the pound got back above 130 um but the franc is actually it's not at its highs for the year but it's held in pretty good and still like i say up 300 pips it's one of the only major currencies that's appreciated against the dollar here in 2023 and and taking a look at approximate moves year to date here um, the euro down about 120 pips on the year, uh, which doesn't seem like a lot. But remember that euro was up hundreds of pips against the dollar uh, around June, July of this year. Pound, actually the only other major currency here on our board that is up on USD, but it's only by 65 pips, right around unchanged on the year. Yen, of course, down almost 2,000 pips. Crazy move in Yen. Uh, there you have the franc up 300 pips on the year against dollar. Aussie, another one that's near its lows historically, down almost 500 pips on the year. And Canadian dollar has been strong at times, but again, down on the year against USD, the, the Swiss franc, the strongest major currency versus US dollar uh, year to date. Um, and also, historically speaking, going further back in time, uh, this 90 cent level is one that's pretty rare historically. We're looking at the last 10 years. And yes, here uh, this year, Swiss franc was able to appreciate uh, and, and dollar franc fell down close to 85, 86 cents, which has been historical lows for the last you know, seven, eight years going back to 2015. But still, this 90 cent level that uh, the market is still below, pretty historically low for dollars, high for uh, Swiss franc, which is, again, kind of crazy when you think about all the dollar strength we've been seeing. So how do we how did we get here? Um, well, keep in mind that franc is a little bit of a flight to quality. And here you have the correlation between the franc and the VIX. And though it's negative right now, you can see, historically speaking, it has been positive, which is to say when there's fear in the stock market or fear in the global economy, Swiss franc can catch a little bit of that fear bid, that flight to quality bid, especially if that fear is focused in Europe. Uh, a lot of times what is risk off for the euro or the pound um, can mean demand for the franc at the euro or pound's expense. And, and this is when you rope in the euro franc uh, and you take a look at how strong the franc has been against the euro. We're right there around highs for the franc, lows for the euro going back to 2015. And this is a weekly chart. And you can see on that move in 2015, when the franc was uh, depegged, it saw a bunch of strength, um, didn't close the week down at those lows. It got a uh, euro franc got as low as uh, around 80 cents. Um, actually closed those weeks, the lowest are right around parity or through parity in Euro franc um, and right there knocking on the door of lows for the last decade. As this uh, franc strength continues, not only against uh, US dollar, but even more so against Euro and some of these other uh, major currencies in Europe, um, and so we'll continue to monitor this. But what I thought was also really interesting is the sentiment isn't necessarily overwhelming uh, short this franc. A lot of times you'll see 
a market like the Franks exhibiting a historically relevant strength, which is to say, you know, the Euro Franc is at lows. And so a lot of people are buying the Euro, selling the Franc, a contrarian play that it'll revert back to normal or this dollar Franc, you know, it's near historical lows. And so maybe you'd expect a lot of people will be long dollars, short Franc, uh, we're seeing a pretty even split, 52% uh, actually on the side of being short dollars, long franc uh, in, in this pair. As uh, we look at IG clients with po positions in the dollar franc market, 52% of which are short that franc, or sorry, short that dollar, long that franc that's been strong uh, so recently. So we'll continue to monitor where this market moves from here. Um, but historically we're seeing some price extremes and sentiment, uh, still on the side of long that Frank.